Now I'm going to leave it up to you to complete the cell template. Make sure that you check the spec to see exactly what's expected. Once you've done that, come back to me and let's talk about how we remove the stock from the user portfolio. There are several ways to do this. We can either delete it from the user's virtual portfolio for whichever table you have indicated, or we could also log the sale as a negative quantity of shares. Up to you, depends how you've implemented buy. Also remember to update the user's cash, knowing that the stock is sold at its current price, not the price that the user originally bought it.